Each hour, the union's targeted strike strategy is exposing the domino effect that it's having on other parts of the supply chain, and that's by design. Our Rod Maloney is tracking how many plants are already being forced to put workers on unemployment. Uh, Rod, are you surprised we're seeing this happen already? Uh, no, this is what it's supposed to do. It's what it's designed to do. So let's talk about some of the things that we're seeing. For instance, at General Motors tonight, they're saying because the Wentzville plant makes stampings for the Fairfax, Kansas GM plant, they're going to run out of parts early next week. GM now saying that they're preparing for layoffs, uh, pointing out that those line workers will not get sub pay. They might get unemployment. With the Wayne Assembly final finish and paint shop down, 600 workers tonight in the body construction department and the south subassembly area of the integrated stamping area were notified not to report to work today. GM pointing out carefully it's not a lockout for them, it's a layoff. They said that they'll have to file for unemployment there as well. Labor attorney Dennis Davini has been around for quite some time watching a lot of this. He's watching all of this play out, the media attention, the layoffs, the strike, and all that's going on with it. And he says, you know what, both sides have things that they probably might want to reconsider if this comes around next time. It seemed to me that there would have been an easier show if you had started having, you know, the discussions earlier. And, and as you know, I am not a believer in Fain's approach that negotiating on television and radio and is, is somehow or another going to be a successful way to make a deal with the big three. Now, we're also seeing uh, losses start, right? Okay, so you've got people on strike pay, $500 a week. They won't see that until sometime the middle of the week after next. It takes eight days, work days, to get that money. You've got other people on unemployment. Sometimes unemployment doesn't even meet the $500 threshold. And then there's S&P Global Mobility today. There are now analysts saying that already, just today, we lost 3,200 vehicles of production in just the first day of the strike. So as things stand right now, um, it's doing exactly what's designed to do. They'll be talking this weekend. Let's hope they get something going. Back to you. Yeah, well, Rod, before you go, President Biden weighed in on the strike today. Mm -hmm. What's been the reaction from the UAW to that? It was, it was fascinating, actually, Kimberly, because uh, Joe Biden desperately wants the UAW's endorsement. Sean Fain has withheld that endorsement, and today he basically said that we're talking. We, he, he almost as much as said, we don't need the White House's help. We, we don't want them to be sending their people in. They're, they're sending the Labor Secretary. They're also bringing uh, one of the president's automotive uh, people uh, from here from Michigan. Uh, and, you know, he basically said, we're, we're doing just fine down here. Um, you know, we don't need the help. In fact, he even said that he feels like there is concern that the UAW might wreck the economy. He said, look, we're only wrecking the billionaire economy. He says, we're doing just fine. So I don't know, uh, frankly, where it stands. Obviously, publicly, at least, if Sean Fain's willing to go that far out, the UAW endorsement isn't likely anytime soon. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it.